Hey, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make these beautiful photo ornaments for your tree or to give as a gift. They're so easy and inexpensive to make. Every year I make these and I use updated family photos, school pictures, so I always have new ones of the kids on the tree, but I really love giving them to family and friends as gifts. I steal some of their photos off of Facebook, print them out, and make these gorgeous gifts. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this project is obviously some photos. I really recommend if you don't have a laser printer that you just do photocopies or send this to your local uh, copy store. So I sent this to Staples. It was ready in a couple of hours. And of course it is laser jet. You cannot use an inkjet printer, you guys. You're also gonna need floor polish. It can't have a cleaner in it. It has to just be a finish, just a floor polish. This is actually quite hard to find. So if you can't find a floor polish, you can use a polyurethane. I really recommend the rub on polyurethane. It's really thin. You can use it exactly the same way as the floor polish to just be the glue. You're also gonna need some photo bulbs. I really like these flat ones because I just find that they work a lot better. You can find these on Michaels or on Amazon. Of course, you're gonna need lots and lots of glitter. You're gonna need some scissors, a paintbrush, and some funnels, and that's all you need. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut out your images. So I just simply cut it out into a circle using a pair of scissors. If you have a punch, you can use a punch. And then what you wanna do is grab a photo ball. So a lot of you guys have like had a hard time finding these. I don't know what to say. You can use the round ones if you want, but these flat ones are amazing. What you wanna do is pop the top off of your ornament and use a funnel and then pour in either your poly or your floor polish. This isn't going to work with floor cleaner. This isn't going to work with just water. You need to use this as a glue. So that's what the floor polish does. Now you're not gonna shake. You're just gonna like turn it so that everything's really nice and coated. If you shake it, you're gonna get just like a ton of bubbles. What I like to do is actually add the picture while I still have polish in. So I'm gonna roll up this sucker, like pop it in, boop, boop, boop. So it's gonna get nice and soaked. And then just using a paintbrush, I'm gonna soak this thing, yes. Just for a few seconds. I'm gonna place it where it needs to go. Soaking it like this in the floor polish is really gonna help it stick better and be easier for you to rub out all the bubbles. So once I've done that, I've, I've like gotten it nice and wet. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out all of this excess. You don't wanna leave this in the ball. Pour it out back into the bottle. Get it all out so that it's completely empty. Now you can see here that there's some bubbles. You can see that there's, you don't want that because the glitter that you were gonna add will get underneath. So using your paintbrush, just any little tiny dollar store paintbrush, uh, you just wanna smooth this all out. If you get a couple of wrinkles, that's okay. You just wanna make sure that the edges don't have the bubbles on the edges because that's how you're gonna get the glitter kind of sneak underneath and it could cover people's faces. And you don't wanna cover their face. You also can, if you're pushing hard, you can adjust these with your paintbrush. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and add your glitter. This is for my mother-in-law. I think I'm gonna go, you wanna add a pretty fine glitter. I think I'm gonna go with blue. Dollar store glitter works, any kind of glitter works. Big chunky glitter. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. Um, it's fine. The darker the glitter that you use, the harder it is to see the picture, especially if you use thin paper. So. I just recommend going with like a lighter, fine color. Oh, this blue is so gorgeous. You just shake, shake, shake. So it completely coats all the sides. Oh, and it's beautiful. So beautiful. You can see there was a little bubble here on the bottom. So some of it got through, that's sort of a bummer, but it's still absolutely breathtaking and makes such a great gift. I really like using a light white or a light gold or a light silver glitter too. Just looks beautiful. The back is beautiful and it's such a great keepsake ornament for just a few pennies.
Thank you guys so much. For those of you who have stayed to the end, I was feeling very insecure and I did a thing. I got more Botox in my face. So if you watch me, you know that I got Botox maybe two years ago and had instant regret. And my face was all like stony McStoney and my, 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 anyways, I, I'm gonna be on TV in the new year, so I was feeling a little panicky and I decided to go and just get a slight amount of Botox in my face again so I didn't feel so old. And now every morning when I look in the mirror, I'm like, what's wrong with your face, Cass? And I'm like, oh yeah, I got Botox. And maybe you don't notice, but I notice. I look a little, a little stunned, maybe is the word? I look a little messed up. I don't know, but we should not put botulism in our face. I know a lot of people who do it and they look freaking fantastic. I have friends and family members who use Botox all the time and I'm like, you look incredible and I would never know, but I, it's just something. It like gives me a resting bee face. I feel like, you know what I mean? Maybe like their resting face is just gorgeous, but my resting face is not so much. I need the animation in my forehead to look like a human. Otherwise I just look hangry all the time. So anyways, I don't know what I was thinking. I hope it wears off fast because now I'm feeling insecure about my Botox face, which I got the Botox, to stop feeling insecure about my old wrinkly face. I just got to em embrace this aging thing. Anyways, I thought I'd share with you because I share everything with you. I'll see you guys next time.